Hi, today it's a little cold and messy outside, so we're going to shoot indoors. Uh, we're going to shoot a, a older CO2 BB pistol. Uh, now this one here you don't see very often. I'll show you the box. It's a Heathway's Plane Master um, 9405. It's identical to the uh, same gun inside as the Plainsman 175. But it is uh, quite a bit different, so I'm going to show it to you. Show you the, the cover here. You see what it says right there. It's kind of funny, you know, the advertising that they, they do on stuff. But anyway, uh, this one here, it's a pretty complete set, and it's in really good shape. I'll show it to you. I'll take everything out. So right here's the owner's manual. It's still in its bag. Set the gun aside for a second here. Now, uh, this gun was designed specifically to shoot an eight gram, an eight gram cartridge or a twelve gram cartridge. Of course, the late eight gram ones are little shorties like little shorties like this. I'll pull out this original one, show you the difference. I'm sure there's no CO2 left in this one. But I wanted to keep it. So there's the 8 gram. And there's the 12 gram. I'll take out the other one too. Because it gave you both in the set. See the difference in size. Put them back. This actually uh, came with the original BB pack in it. And also I'm going to show you. There's this little thing right here. This little thing right here. If you put that in the in the charging tube, you can use the little eight the little eight gram cartridges. And if you don't put it in there, then you can use a twelve gram. But we're going to shoot with a twelve gram today. I'm going to show you the pistol real quick. Now the pistol, you can see that it's very similar to the the one the one seventy five, except it has the synthetic walnut four four stock on it, and it has the uh, the grips are the same. You can also take this little handle comes off so you can just shoot it as a pistol. I kind of like shooting it as a pistol better. But we'll shoot it both ways today just so you can see. And that just slides in there. And you get your little your little screw that you screw it down on there like that. Okay, it has a safety. Your safety's right here. Has adjustable rear sight on it. Actually, that little screw right there, the sight can be adjusted. The front sight is just a fixed sight. See, it has quite a bit longer barrel than the 175. Of course, to charge this, there's already a CO2 in here. I haven't tightened it, but to charge it, you just drop your CO2 in. And you crank that down, of course, when you want it to charge. Now, right here is a power adjuster, and this the 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 the, the Heathway's uh, pistols all had the power adjuster in them, and there was uh, three adjustments. So you had uh, you had high power, medium power, and low power. This is adjusted for high power. In order to load it, you just take and you slide that little thing up and dump your BBs in. So anyway, uh. Let's go have some fun, and let's shoot this at, uh, oh, probably about 20 feet. Show it to you real close one more time. Now, this pistol was actually made after uh, Heathways was bought out by Marksman. So, this is a Marksman pistol, but it's uh, still got the, the Heathways, the, the Healthways, uh, the health, Healthways, I always get that messed up, the Healthways uh, brand name on it. So let's go shoot this from uh, 20 feet.
They could have made the BB feet a little better. So let's take a look at the target. You know, one thing that he, the, the Healthways pistols were known for was for being pretty accurate, even the little 175s. And as you can see, offhand from a 20 feet, it's pretty accurate for a BB gun. So anyway, that's a, that's a look at the target. You can see I missed some there. And actually, when I first few shots, I was hitting low, so I just aimed up a little bit and adjusted that way, and I started to hit right there. Not too shabby. So I just wanted to show you the target again. After I was shooting with the handle, I tore it up pretty good. Not too bad for a little BB pistol. So that's it today for uh, the little indoor plinking session. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Uh, I forgot how accurate this little BB pistol really is. And now that I've shot it a little bit more with this, I kind of like the the steadiness that I get from it. I sure was able to blast away at that target and, and take the center of that target out. Anyway, I'm always uh, glad to make these videos for you, and I really enjoy like showing you some of these older guns. Uh, I hope you enjoy watching, and until next time, you all have a good one. Thanks for watching.